Thank you again, Rhonda, for uh, doing this interview with me. Uh, would you please introduce yourself to the Circles crowd? Hi, I'm Rhonda Atkinson. I'm a professor of education here on West Campus. I'm also the chair for undergraduate education courses, as well as the Educator Preparation Institute. And today, are you willing to share some uh, best brick and mortar strategies with us, some teaching strategies? Absolutely, happy to do that. Um, but I forgot my cards. Um, you don't have a deck of cards, do you? I think I may have an app for that. Oh, wow, um, cool. Let's see here. Siri, get me a deck of cards. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Perfect. Well, these are really what I call low-tech clickers. Um, and so they're easy to use. All you need is a deck of cards. You don't even have to have a deck of cards. You can use a post-it note with something on one side. You can use an index card, again, with something written on one side. You give everybody a card or an um, post-it note. And then as you're talking to the class, you might be doing a lecture, you might be solving a problem on the board. Uh, but when you think is a good stopping point for a question, you might ask if the students have any questions or if they're confused. Then you say, if you have a question, hold your card up on the face side. But if you think you understand, you're ready to move on, show the back side. Thanks for the teacher trick. Um, what other bricks or tricks do you have up your sleeve? Um, one of my favorites is called the fake quiz. And that's something that I do um, very early on in the semester, usually in the first week to week and a half. Um, I am one of those professors that actually uses all the chapters in the book. And so a lot of times in class, I'll do like very small point, little, little pop quizzes at the beginning of class based on a reading. So that way I know that students are actually reading the material. Um, the thing that always used to drive me crazy though is sometimes you'd be in a course and there'd only be maybe two or three exams in the course. And if you didn't figure out the teacher's way of writing exams, you took the first test and you didn't do well. And then it was always catch up for the rest of the semester. So this particular activity is very student-centered. It's called Fake Quiz. And what you do is you assign a chapter. Um, you create a, a, a five to 10 question quiz that would include the kinds of questions you would normally ask. Um, when students come in, the first thing you do is you say, imagine I'm having a quiz today. Um, what do you think would be a really good question that you think would be on the quiz? So you have them write a question, you collect those. Then you can kind of go through those and say, oh yeah, this is a really good question and read it. Or you might say, this is too difficult. This is too detailed. Um, maybe this is a silly question and I'm not going to ask those kinds of questions. Um, then what you do is you give them the quiz and let them see how they would do. This is not for a grade, but you show them, this is how I came up with the questions. Turn to page 43. Okay, this is where question one came from and here's how I thought about the question and, and tied in several concepts. Um, that kind of gives students a sense of how the professor thinks about their discipline. And that we don't really want that to be a secret from students. Thanks, Rhonda, for taking the time to share some ideas with us. Happy to do it.